Hey, Stacy. here, what I'm going to tell you first, just so people don't get concerned, I am not going to give away any positions. Ten four. I'm listening to. Yeah, why would they treat your hostage like that? Nope, that's him. Oh, they got him. They got him. Law enforcement still out here. Heavy presence. There's law enforcement officials from the Highlands County Sheriff's Office, from Sebring Police, of course, as well as the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. And just behind that truck, you can see the entrance of the bank that a SWAT armored vehicle had to ram through to get access in earlier today. Now, just across the street where we're standing is a small inn. I spoke with the manager earlier, and she tells me almost all of her staff members knew at least one person who worked across from the bank and that this entire community of Sebring is hurting tonight. Maybe 19, you walk. 19 or 20 years old. Kind of looks like a nerd, too, doesn't he? Is that him? Yeah, that's the guy. That, yeah. That's him. Well, we are at 98% occupancy. Can ruin his life. <laughs> <laughs> and our hotel is full. And there's another one in there. Stupid, stupid. Hmm. I'm heartbroken. This is my bank. Um, I know her personally. Um, she worked at the SunTrust in Avon Park. She worked for many, many years. Um, it's, it's very heartbroken to me to find out that when I was in Sunny Lake picking up my roommate's grandson, it was on lockdown. Um, we went a long time. I scanned my Facebook, my phone, and realized it was this bank that I go to, and realized one of my friends worked there. When I saw that, I just started freaking out. I'm Peter King, CBS News in Sebring, Florida. This is the SunTrust Bank where the shootings took place. You can see the lights are on outside and inside, but we are being told that we are not supposed to be in this area. You may see that bright light shining at me. He's telling me to move over to the media area, which is where I am going now. There is yellow crime scene tape all over the area, as you can uh, Imagine this is still an active crime scene. There are sheriff's vehicles still outside the bank building, including a SWAT vehicle from this afternoon, including regular patrol cars and a huge command post that's been here since this afternoon as well. We are being told to keep a good distance away from the building. It's still an active crime scene. Investigators are still looking for evidence here, and we expect to get an update around 11 o'clock in the morning. Peter King, CBS News, Sebring, Florida. I first spoke with a next-door neighbor who is at Xavier's family home only hours before today's mass shooting.
This is a huge tragedy in this small little town. Tonight, neighbors of the accused gunman in disbelief, like much of the Sebring community. He's caught. It's just sad that all those people got hurt. ABC Action News, first to track down 21-year-old Zephan Xavier's home, located just six miles from SunTrust Bank, where police say he gunned down at least five people. Very nice people, very sweet people. Um, I feel very bad. Sharon Spillen tells me she was in the admitted shooter's home this morning, visiting with his parents, and did not notice anything unusual. I have been over there on barbecues with my daughter. We've grilled out together. We've eaten together. No, nothing at all. Not even a tiny, teeny little bit would it have even remotely have crossed my mind at all. We watched law enforcement keep a tight perimeter blocking Pine Tree Lane. Detectives searching the home for hours. We've learned Xavier was a correctional officer trainee in nearby Avon Park before resigning two weeks ago. Sending all of my prayers to the friends and family who have to endure this pain. Many neighbors telling me tonight they didn't see this man much, but they say his parents are friendly and well-known in the community. I'm Ryan Smith reporting in Sebring, Florida. Justice, I want to thank uh, both the police department here and the sheriff's department uh, for responding to the situation. Uh, it's fluid. There's a lot going on, uh, but they're doing a good job, and they're doing what the people uh, of Highlands County expect. And I want to introduce uh, the chief of police uh, to say, give you guys an update on, on the latest. Thank you, Governor. As the governor mentioned, today's been a tragic day in our community. We've suffered a significant loss at the hands of a senseless criminal doing a senseless crime. This afternoon at approximately 12.36 p.m., officers of the Seaburn Police Department and the Highlands County Sheriff's Office responded to a bank located at 1901 U.S. Highway 27 South after a subject contacted our Consolidated Dispatch Center and said that he had entered the bank and began shooting. Our units and units in the Sheriff's Office responded, established a secure scene, and began negotiating with the subject utilizing the Highlands County Sheriff's Office crisis negotiation team. While engaged in negotiations, I ordered or asked the sheriff to send in the tactical unit or their SWAT team in an attempt to recover potential victims and take the subject into custody. After an assessment of the scene, we were sorry to learn that we have at least five victims, people who were senselessly murdered as a result of his act in this bank. I'm very appreciative of the sheriff's assistance of the allocation of resources made through the state through the FDLE and the FBI. As the governor mentioned, this is a very dynamic and ongoing investigation. I'm sure several details will come as the investigation continues. What we do know right now is that the gentleman that's been taken into custody as a result of this is a gentleman by the name of Zephan Zaver. He's 21 years of age and lives here in Seaburn. The identity of the victims has not been committed yet or done yet. It's not complete. We are still processing the crime scene, and we have not conducted victim notifications for the families involved. We ask that you please keep them in your prayers, keep them in your thoughts, and help Sebring and our community stay strong. I'd like to introduce Sheriff Blackman, and again, thank you for your assistance. Thank you, Chief. Uh, I would just echo exactly what Chief Hoagland has mentioned. Uh, the Highlands County Sheriff's Office will continue to work with the Sebring Police Department as well as FDLE. Uh, in an attempt to make sure a thorough investigation is done uh, regarding this incident. Uh, currently, we have our investigators, our criminal investigations unit, working alongside the detectives from Sebring Police Department, uh, doing interviews, uh, doing search warrants, and conducting crime scene uh, property and evidence collection currently. Uh, we're not going to take any questions uh, this afternoon, but tomorrow at 11 o'clock, as more information unfolds, we will have another press conference and uh, hopefully we'll have some answers to some of your questions at that point. So thank you very much and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 11. Can you spell the name of the suspect? The Spelling of the suspect's name is Zephan, Z-E-P-H-E-N, last name Zaver, X-A-V-E-R. Thank you.